If a force F is applied to the 30 kilogram cart, show that the 20 kilogram block A will slide on the cart. Also, determine the time for block A to move on the cart 1.5 meters. The coefficient of static and kinetic friction between the block and the cart are mu s and mu k given. Both the cart and the block start from rest. All right, so let's start with the first part. He's asking us to show that the 20 kilogram block A will slide on the cart. And we already know that if sliding occurs, it means that the friction force here is more than mu s times n. So all what we have to do now is to assume the force as an unknown variable and solve for it and prove that this friction force is more than mu s times n, which validates and proves that the sliding will occur. Okay, starting with the free body diagrams, we have the free body diagram for the block and for the cart. For the block, we have the weight and the normal force and the friction force. And note here that the friction force is helping block A to move. It is not against the motion of A. It is actually the force that is driving block A to move. And for the cart, we have its weight, 30 Newton. We have the normal from the ground. And we have the applied force to the cart. And we should also have the same forces from the block, but equal and opposite. So we have the friction force equal and opposite. And we have also the normal force from the upper block equal and opposite. And by going back to the rules of the friction force, if the friction force is unknown, then our default assumption is no slipping. And in our case here, no slipping means there is no relative motion between A, the block, and the cart, which means that the cart and the block both will have the same acceleration. So by applying Newton's second law on the block, we will have the normal equals to the weight and the summation of forces equals Ma in the right direction. This means the friction force is equal to 20A. Doing that for the cart, the summation of forces will be equal to 200, which is F, minus the friction force equals to M for the cart, also times A. And now we have two equations with two unknowns. We take the friction force from this equation, which is 20 times A, we apply it here, and then we get this equation only with A as a variable. So we solve for A, and then we solve for the friction force. Finally, we find the maximum static friction between the surfaces, which is equal to mu s times n, and note that n here is n between the two surfaces. It has nothing to do with n prime, which is for the cart. So by doing that, mu s is given, and n is also found from the first equation. So we find the maximum static friction as around 59 newtons. And clearly our friction force that we found is more than the maximum static friction. And this means that sliding will occur between the two surfaces. Okay, now for the second part, the question is asking, determine the time for block A to move on the cart 1.5 meters. And of course, this will not happen unless we have sliding between A and the cart, which we have already proven. And if you think about it, sliding means the cart will have a different acceleration than the block. And that's why the sliding happens, because they both move with different accelerations. And if we want to find the distance that A moves relative to the cart, then we need to find its acceleration relative to the cart. 
Why? Because delta S is equal to V naught times T plus one half AT square. So if you know delta S and you know that the initial velocity is equal to zero, all what you need now to find the time is to find the acceleration. And note here that everything is done for A relative to the cart, or as if the cart is not moving. So this equation becomes delta S A relative to C equals, this part is zero, plus one half acceleration A relative to C times also the time A relative to C. And to find the time, we need to find the acceleration of A relative to C, which means we need to find the acceleration of A minus the acceleration of C. And now that we know how to solve the problem, we assume different accelerations. We have the friction force as kinetic friction between A and between the cart as shown. Remember also that the friction force is the driving force for the block and it is resisting the motion of the cart. And by doing both equations, we can find the acceleration of A and the acceleration of C. And you can see that the acceleration of the cart is larger than the acceleration of A. And this makes very good sense. Why is it making sense? Because when you find the acceleration of A relative to C, you will get A relative to C as a negative value. And this physically makes sense because it means that A is moving with a negative acceleration relative to the cart, which means that it is moving relative to the cart in the left direction. And this is how it will reach the other side. Finally, we use the constant acceleration equation which we just mentioned, and we assume this side as the positive. So we have delta S as 1.5 positive. Initial velocity is equal to zero. Acceleration is just found. And from there, we find the time, which is 1.08 seconds.